If you are looking for a dedicated MP3 player, the first thing most people think of is an iPod. They are a classic device that Evan had back in the mid 2000s, and they have been around for such a long time. I know I've gone to a lot of iPods in my lifetime, but unfortunately they've been discontinued after 2009, and such smartphones seem to have taken over the want for these devices. The current one in my possession is an iPod Nano 3rd generation. It came out in 2007 and is still going strong a decade later, something I wouldn't even expect from a modern iPhone. Now I'm trying out a new MPC player that's called the Santa Clip Plus. I simply looked online for what was a cheap, recommended MPC player with lots of storage and it seemed well received by many online communities. Well, the main reason I got it is storage and it can hold up to 128GB if it's micro SD cards and workbook installed, which I'll get to later. I still like the iPod. After a while, I alternate between the two and can see the pros and cons of both devices. So in this video, I'll analyze the different aspects of the two devices to help you decide which one might be the best for you. I'll mostly talk about my experience with the iPod Nano 3G. Most of it will apply to all other iPods. I'll also be talking about the Santa Clip of Lockbox installed by the default software, which I will explain when I talk about the software of each product. First is hardware, or physical comfort. Now at first you will think that the Santa Clip is smaller, but it's actually sicker than my iPod. The Santa Clip seems to be best to people who think that smaller equals better, but personally, I find the size of the iPod to be more comfortable. It is thin and also more comfortable slip in the same pocket I have with my smartphone, while the sicker Santa Clip kind of sticks out of your pocket. Just look at my thumbs and compare the size. One gives your thumb more space, while the other just barely covers the thumb. Now let's take a look at the navigation buttons. The Santa Clip clicks when you press it, which might be a little annoying, while the iPod is more silent and has a scroll wheel. Buttons make more sense for traveling to a menu, and they're more intuitive in that sense. But for adjusting volume and skimming to a song, the wheel is definitely best. The Santa Clip has a volume button on the side, so it makes up for that. However, skimming to a song requires holding the left or right skip button to slowly build up speed as it moves to a song which is less intuitive and accurate than the scroll wheel. You get used to the clickiness of the buttons, but the iPod is not only quieter, but more simplified interface, and it doesn't feel like you're missing any buttons, even though there's less of them. A special feature of the Santa Clip, if you would call it that, is the clip. It's very sturdy and doesn't feel like a cheap add-on. As I mentioned earlier, it isn't that comfortable to keep in your pocket, however the clip shows you the way it was intended to be worn, clipped. I keep it clipped on my belt loop, and it actually gives me faster access to the buttons than if it was in my pocket. You might not say the clip style is for you, but it's clear the device with clip in its name is intended to be used, clipped, and not pocketed. Now let's talk about software, and it's about time I actually explain what Rockbox is. So, Rockbox is a free software that can replace the default on many digital music players. It can add more features to an MPC player, and that is definitely true for this one. It can support more types of audio files, like FLAC, M4A, OGG, and so on, play lots of fun games and more. It could even play Doom. You think I'm kidding? Look, it's a little shitty, but it's pretty cool anyway. If it seems difficult or dangerous to install, don't worry. It's pretty easy. You just have to go to Rockbox.org and download the installer, maybe see if it's the weapon NPC player you have, and they'll explain everything. The default software actually has to load the SD card each time you turn it on, which can be slow, but Rockbox loads it instantly. Now, a definite plus for this is it can just drag and drop music and create custom folders for your music and not rely on iTunes. If you only use iTunes and music transfer, you might not think it's so bad, but you can't use computers without iTunes to deal with stupid syncing process and so on. The drag and drop method is way better than using iTunes. You can go to the database and it'll organize your music for you by artist, album, genre, and all that good stuff. I like this way better than the iPod since it's faster and easier to get to what you want to listen to, so you just organize it when you drag and drop it into the Santa Clip. One feature that feels like a no-brainer, but isn't on the iPod, is Resume Playback. Now to do this, you have to turn on the features, so go to Settings, General Settings, and then Automatic Resume, to turn both of these on. It will save your spot, so you can listen to a podcast or audiobook, leave it, and listen to other stuff for a week, and then come back and it'll start where you left off. You can come back to an album after a while, and you can tell which was the last song you're on, because it will zoom part way through. Battery life is pretty good on both. I find iPod batteries last longer, but that's just because they keep its brightness very low. But the Santa Clip, you can't really change the brightness. I don't use it 10 hours at a time, but I've tested both with casual use. And the iPod seems to last one more day than the Santa Clip. 
but both last at least three days for me with constant use. We all know the games that come with the iPod. The older ones are more simple games, but newer ones only have three. Rockbox gives Santa Club a crazy variety of classic games like Blackjack, Brick Mania, Bubbles, Chess, Dice, and like I said, Doom, Jackpot, Jewels, Maze, Minesweeper, Pong, um, all these things. Sliding Puzzles, Snake, Solitaire, Sudoku, all this great stuff that the Rockbox community has put on there. These are timeless games that give you way more fun than the iPod games. The iPod Nano 3G, or any other iPod, will go for a lot cheaper and be more common to find online. Prices on Amazon will go for about $30 used. All of these are used, of course. Um, I personally find eBay to be a better source. You will get some great offers. You know, auctions, $12 left, this one's for $30, 30 20 You can, you know, probably find these off a friend or something and get for free very common. You can get these for very cheap. $10, $20. All these pretty good options that you can get. Um, now the Santa Clip Plus is more rare. It's also discontinued. But because it's so sought after by, you know, NPC player fans or whatever, it is going to be more costly. So, and you know, also the SD card feature. So do not get an 8GB um, go for 4 gigabyte if you can find one too, because of course, this is just internal storage. You're going to play an SD card, it's the only way you're supposed to use these. So you will get cheaper, um, you know, 4 gigabyte, 2 gigabyte, and there's much of, lots of different um, sand disk MPC players, but make sure to get the one that, you know, has the home button and says plus at the end. Um, as you can see, this looks like 80 new, while used is way better. Get some nice colors for like 40 or something. Um, I bought mine off of Amazon used for about $40. Um, I would say get this one because it's very good, not accessible. But um, mine came in a box and I got it off Amazon 4 gigabyte, about $40. Um, eBay is also a good option. I didn't pick from eBay because there a lot of them, of course, very expensive. Um, and also, eBay is more risky because you're all buying used. Um, I found used to be more successful on Amazon in my experience. But um, I think it'd be more likely of an iPod that is cheaper and more common. While San Santa Clip Pluses are indeed more rare. As you can see, I can't even really find one. Um, this one's pretty good, but of course, there's an option for the end of the day. But, um,. A lot of these are going for a lot more with the immediate ones you can see sponsored are over a hundred dollars it's gonna be like 85 all the ones that are reasonable or like less than 50 are um you know still more than 20 what you'll get for an ipod this one seems pretty good and i should definitely pick this one up this one looks really good i should have picked that up but um you know I would say go Amazon use section if you want to pick up a Santa, Santa Clip Plus, while iPod might be better than eBay. In conclusion, I think the iPod has a reason to be so popular. Its interface and scroll wheel is pretty ingenious, and the size and comfort does feel better to me. But the software advantages of the Santa Clip greatly outweigh any hardware benefits that the iPod has. So, of course, I can't say one is objectively better than the other. Both have their own pros and cons, but um. I hope this helped you figure out which one might be best for you.